Hello, welcome to a new episode of the Bug Bounty Tools. Today we are going to look at Subfinder. So what is Subfinder? Subfinder is a fast passive subdomain discovery tool by Project Discovery. And Subfinder discovers valid subdomains for websites by using passive online sources. Subfinder is written in Go language and it uses online sources such as Binary Edge, ThirdSpotter, Census, GitHub, Security Trails, Shodan Spice, VerusTotal and many many more. So let's look into it. I'm already here on the Project Discovery Subfinder GitHub page. Let's first install this tool. Therefore, we can just copy this string and paste it into our terminal. And now Subfinder should be installed. And we can look here through the help functions and we can see that we can provide a domain string. We can provide um, a file containing list of domains. We can manipulate the sources. Very important, we can look at the rate limiting. We can define the output, the output directory, etc. But the next very important step is to configure all the APIs with the respective API keys. And therefore we need to manipulate this file here, which will be created once we run the subfinder one time. So let's just run subfinder with this with this command here our configuration file should be created we can check and indeed it's here we can now modify the different api keys in this file which i will do now okay now i just have inserted the api keys now let's look at some more advanced options in subfinder we are going to search for some subdomains on some hosts for the VDP of the Department of Defense. So let's first create our hosts file. We can take army.mil and maybe af.mil and that should be sufficient for now. Now we can call subfinder minus the DL option we put in our host tags. We use some rate limiting to not throw too many requests at our targets. And we want to output the entire thing into an output directory minus OD, which we call output. And we fire this off. Okay, this might have taken some time and now we can look in our output folder what we have here. So we can look at our results now for output for the af.mil.txt. These are quite a lot of files. We can check how many lines we actually found. So we found a total of 519,000 subdomains for af.mil and let's see how for the army.mil we also found a total of 2.8 million subdomains, which is incredible for this short amount of time. And now that we have so many discovered subdomains, what we can do is we can look through these results. For example, we can look for admin panels just by outputting all the files and grabbing maybe for the word admin. And we can see already that we have quite many results here which are in total 705 pages. We could now further go on and feed this into HTTPX to check which of these panels might be alive. But this is content for another video. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing and liking my channel. Also following me on Twitter at Bug Hunter Labs. Thank you very much.